Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today Apple has released iOS 15.6 to the public. After going through its beta stages and two different RC releases, iOS 15.6 is finally here. And this is a very important update as it will very likely be the last big update to iOS 15 because we're moving on to iOS 16 in September. We'll get that update released to the public. So iOS 15.6 is basically the last big update for iOS 15 and a lot of users with older devices that won't be supported by iOS 16. We will talk about that in a few minutes here. So in this video, I will show you guys what's new with this update, all the new features and changes, battery performance and everything else that you need to know. Starting things off with the size of the update. Now this should come at a very big size. Of course, if you have an older iOS 15 version on your device, if you have iOS 15.5, it will probably be a way smaller update. But if you have an older version, you can expect it to come at around five to four gigs, of course, always depending on which device you're installing the software update. But again, even though it doesn't have that many new features and changes, it's still quite a big update. Now let's get things started with the new features and changes. But before we get into all that, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So please, if you do enjoy the videos and you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. It really helps out a lot and now let's talk about the new features and changes of ios 15.6 first of all we're moving to the settings app going into the safari settings what you will find is a very useful setting right here under safari so if we go here and try to clear the the history and the website data you will now have a new option so let's say you're clearing the data but you have tabs open on Safari. When you clear the data, you think you have cleared everything, but the tabs will remain actually open there. So those few tabs have actually not been cleared. Now you will have this new option. So when you tap right there, it will give you the option to actually close the tabs as well. So every tab that is open will be closed. And of course, all the history will be cleared. And this right here is a pretty cool new feature that Apple has added to Apple TV. If you watch sports here, you will have a very nice feature. So let's say you're watching a game, you start watching a game, but the game has started maybe like 20 minutes before. Now you will have the option to actually rewind that game, even though it's playing live. So you want to watch it from the beginning. You know, let's say 20, 30 minutes late, you can just rewind it and continue watching it from the beginning or of course you can pause it and have all the different controls that you would have normally on something like a dvr things like that used to be like that they will have all those options right here on the tv app for sports we have a change here on the wallet app as well if you tap the plus button and try to add the driver's license now we have one more right here that we can add Maryland has been added with iOS 15.6. There used to be only Arizona. Now, if you live in Maryland, you will be able to add your driver's license or state ID to the wallet app. A very big change has happened to the podcast app. Well, to the settings of the podcast app and the control that you have over which episodes will be downloaded locally on your device. That's really important because these episodes are quite big and of course they will take a lot of space on your device so you need to control those. And now with the new settings, this, that will be very, very easy. So head on to the settings app, go to podcast and here you have automatically download. And now of course you can turn it off completely but you will have latest episode per show so each show you subscribe to it will only download the latest episode or you can choose right here two three five or ten so for each show you can download let's say the 10 last episodes that's quite a lot of course they will take a lot of space and then you will have last 24 hours so only the episodes that have been released from any of the shows that you subscribe to on the last 24 hours will be downloaded to your device. And of course, you have the other options here for seven days, 14 days or 30 days. And of course, all the new episodes as well. On the shortcuts app, you will have a new option when a shortcut will have to load stuff basically from safari so you will actually get a pop-up so this is not something that you will see here but when a shortcut needs to load content from a website it will actually show
show you a new pop-up which will let you decide whether you want to allow that shortcut to load that content or not. And the annoying music bug has been fixed on iOS 15.6. So there was this bug that a lot of people have been facing, which basically when you have the music, the Apple Music app deleted from your device, you would reinstall it from the App Store, it will just appear right on the dock and remove one of your apps from the dock. That has been fixed with iOS 15.6. Another thing that's really important that has been fixed is right here, under the general settings, if you go to just load the storage of your device, you will notice here that it will load really quick. Now this device right here is currently on iOS 16. You can see how fast it loads. So here we have my device here, my iPhone 7, which is really old and of course, it has the battery quite damaged, so the performance of this device is not the best, but you will notice here when I go to load the storage, how fast it will load, and this device is of course on iOS 15.6. Moving on to the performance of iOS 15.6. Now, this of course is an update that comes quite late. It's of course 15.6. So there will be not a lot of change on performance and battery life when you compare it to iOS 15.5. But here I have the tests that I did run on this device. So here we have iOS 15.5. So you can see the single core score right here is 1585. While when we go right here to 15.6, it's 1588. So just a slight improve there, but of course it's not, not anything that you can notice. Moving back right here to 15.5 on the multi-core score, 4092 while on 15.6, we have 4,087 on the multi-core score. So you can see these are basically the same, the exact same performance that you will get on iOS 15.5. You can expect that to get on iOS 15.6 as well. And when talking about battery on iOS 15.6, if you have a device that you're using right now and it's on iOS 15.5, just expect to have the same battery life on iOS 15.6 as well. Now, since this has been through like five betas, I believe it was, and two different RC versions, we didn't have any reports from people like having any major issues or any bugs with the battery on iOS 15.6. So just expect this to be quite the same as iOS 15.5. I don't think there will be any change that you will notice on battery life and also performance between iOS 15.5 and the new iOS 15.6. And now let's talk a bit about the older devices. On iOS 15.6, the performance of the iPhone 7 right here, even though this device is quite old, and if you take a look at the battery right here, the battery health, you can notice that it's actually not that good. So it's at 79, it requires a server, so it won't work at its best, but with iOS 15.6, I think the performance is quite good. I would expect this to happen, of course, it's iOS 15.6, it's quite a late update and Apple actually has just focused a lot on improving the performance, especially for the older devices, as this will be a very, very important update for these devices, because the iPhone 7 and the 7 Plus are not getting iOS 16. Of course, the 6S and the 6S Plus as well, but this actually was a device that we have been expecting that Apple would support with iOS 16 as well, but it didn't happen, so this update is really important for iPhone 7 and the iPhone 6S users, as from now on, I don't believe there will be any more updates for these devices of course any more big updates but you will probably get a few updates in the future like minor bug fixes and security improvements and things like that but as far as features go and a point like seven update i don't think that will happen and this will be likely the last big update to ios 15 before apple moves on to ios 16 in in september so as a conclusion, iOS 15.6, a nice little update, of course, a few new features, but mostly focused on bug fixes and improvements. And of course is really important as it will be most likely the last big update to iOS 15 before we move to iOS 16. 
for users with all their devices that won't be getting iOS 16 on their device. Make sure you update, of course, from now on, you will probably just get minor updates, 15.6.1 and things like that, that will be focused on security and bug fixes. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. This is iOS 15.6 the newest release and probably the last release for iOS 15. Thank you guys for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Leave a like if you enjoyed this one. I will see you guys on the next video.